Hey everybody, so it's 2 a.m. on Monday morning and I got a robot call. So I just kind of thought I'd check in and show you guys that this stuff happens. And there are times where we're up in the middle of the night fixing stuff. Uh, I'm fingers crossing, hoping that this one is as easy as just restarting this robot. And then I can be back to bed. So please pray with me. Alright, now this is the, the time you see it has launched. It got restarted. So now my hope is that this cow gives no time. But they're still spinning and cleaning, and that's the important thing. I think Eric had to work on them a little bit, so that's not surprising. I thought I'd give a quick little explainer of what exactly happened there and why it was seemed simple. Robots are computers. They have a ton of computers and little gadgets and different things in there. They're really, they're technology. And so sometimes weird things just happen and a restart just fixes it. Sometimes not. I might get called back out here again in a little while with the same issue and I might have to call somebody to come help me. You just never know. Um, but right now it appears like it's fixed. So I won't complain about that, especially if I don't get called for it again tonight. <laughs> black beans, navy beans, great northerns, pintos, cantellinis, um, whatever kind of dry edible beans you like. And it's also made for some corn silage corn. It's narrow rows, so there's lots of different planters and one of the different variations that they have is how far the rows are apart. The row is where the planter puts the seed in at. It's a straight line. And so different plants need different things, just like how deep they're put in the soil, but also how close they can be to other plants and how ideal that is. So 
that's one of the things my brother just bought this planter I think in March was when it was so we're just testing it out today we have some old corn seed that we're putting in and we're just kind of trying to he's trying to understand how it works um, get a feel for it before we we're gonna plant some corn with it first and then they'll plant their dry beans with it so my brother didn't want to be on the YouTube channel so I'm here explaining it instead of him but my dad's coming and my husband obviously Eric he's the one standing and my brother is the one in the green hat and so we're all gonna see how it goes today so this is pretty exciting this is the biggest planter we've ever had it's not brand new but it was completely rebuilt by the previous owner so my brothers we're really excited to have it we think it could be a great addition to our farm what are those dad <laughs> so what do they do Each kernel will go in the seed disc, and as it goes around, it'll drop down the seed tube. Perfect. Thanks, Dad. Kevin is very anti the YouTube videos. Hi, Mojo. Are you excited? You're like, yeah, I'm just excited to be with my mom. Okay, Dad. So the fans, what do the fans do? What's their purpose? The fan is blowing the seed onto the plate. So instead of like a gravity fall, it uses the fan blows it. To and then it, the plate turns and it gets to a spot where there's no air pressure on it. Yep. Then it will drop the seed. Okay. And we have it set for dropping it about every five inches. Okay. Cool. So you can hear the fans going. Hi, honey. Are you excited? More exciting than you're ready to play at all. I know. Hopefully soon. Like our old planter, the seed drive is run off the ground. So you would change sprockets or to change your seed population. Mm -hmm. This planter with the precision plant, it's all run off by drawing drive. That drops the seed, returns the turns the wheels. Uh -huh. So you gotta get the computer and the planner on the same page. Yep. To get, it, to get it to work right, I guess. Yep. And this is our first precision planting planter, so I'm trying to figure it out. aren't exactly going as planned. We're not gonna be able to do like a real test because the tractor can't get, it's having trouble getting hooked up to GPS. So we're not gonna get to do a test today, but you can see down there, 
that blue thing, it's digging a trench. The seed gets put down in there, and then it's these, this scroll behind, it actually then recovers, covers the seed up with dirt. Pretty cool. You can also put things like fertilizer right down in there so that the seed gets nutrients and food right off the bat. Look at that, boys just playing in the dirt. Some things never change, even in your 50s. <laughs> he doesn't find me very funny. <laughs> Do I ever? Yes. seriousness they're looking for little baby sugar beets they're so cute eh, probably not this dude's cute right mojo mojo yeah corn is like hi mojo <laughs> that's true <laughs> 